Good morning. I'm Joseph Briggs from the parish of St. Joseph's in Colwyn Bay. Today, for our contemplation this morning, we have two readings, one from Isaiah and one from St. Mark's Gospel. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. Say to all faint hearts, courage, do not be afraid. Look, your God is coming. Vengeance is coming. The retribution of God is coming. He is coming to save you. Then the eyes of the blind shall be opened, the ears of the deaf unsealed. Then the lame shall leap like a deer, and the tongues of the dumb sing for joy. For water gushes in the desert, streams in the wasteland. The scorched earth becomes a lake, the parched land springs water. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And now we have a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Returning from the district of Tyre, Jesus went by way of Sidon towards the Sea of Galilee, right through Decapolis region. They brought him a deaf man who had an impediment in his speech. And they asked him to lay his hand on him. He took him aside in private, away from the crowd, put his fingers into the man's ears and touched his tongue and spittle. Then looking up to heaven, he sighed and he said to him, Ephatha, that is, be opened. And his ears were opened and the ligament of his tongue was loosened and he spoke clearly. And Jesus ordered them to tell no one about it. But the more he insisted, the more widely they published it. Their admiration was unbounded. He has done all things well, they said. He makes the deaf hear and the dumb to speak. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Let's think about those readings for a moment and see what they have to tell us. In that second reading from St. Mark, we have a story of Jesus going out on a long journey, perhaps more than a hundred miles, if you look at the map through fairly wild terrain in those days and very few villages. Why would Jesus do this? Jesus wanted to create an opportunity for quiet periods away from the crowds. He often used to do this for himself, to pray to God without interruption. But he would also take the opportunity to have time to teach the apostles. We need to take time out and to try to be at one with God and to allow him to teach and guide us. As Jesus got near to the Sea of Galilee, rumours of his coming will be spreading. A crowd now brings a deaf man who has a speech impediment, probably a stammer or with difficulty making proper speech due to his deafness. Why does he do this? Is it that they wanted to see for themselves a possible cure? 
or they're motivated to get help for their friend or because they believed that Jesus could and would help him. Jesus decides to act but wants to avoid publicity. So Jesus takes him aside does Jesus want to avoid this publicity to try to stop copycat activity by others who might try to cash in on this? Or does he want to isolate the man and test his faith in him? The miracle is unusual because as well as usually using the words to effect a cure. Jesus also places fingers into the man's ears and also to signify the cure who is going to be made, he touches the man's tongue with his spittle. Many of us will recoil against such an action, but the man doesn't and is cured. Jesus orders the crowd not to publicize this cure, but they ignore him. Jesus has often asked for this on other occasions. Why? To try to reduce the development of crowds or mobs, or to avoid drawing attention to himself, especially from the authorities, the Pharisees or the Romans. But would we keep quiet? If we had witnessed a miracle, surely we would want to tell everyone. But here we are, surrounded by God's creation and love. Let us all witness with faith to the glory and the love of God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.